Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm making this video for the purpose of CSC 253 Interactive Multimedia Course in UITM This is Chapter 9, Multimedia Authoring Tools In this chapter, we are going to discuss the introduction to multimedia authoring tool, types of authoring tool, and cross-platform authoring tools A multimedia authoring tool is an application that provides a developer to organize, edit and combine the elements of a multimedia project. The elements are the five elements of multimedia. Those are the text, image, audio, video and animation. Other than that, the multimedia authoring tools enables the developer to create, edit and import data for the purpose of multimedia development. And most of the authoring system also support the scripting language or the programming language for more sophisticated application of multimedia. The multimedia authoring tools can be viewed from four main perspectives. The perspective are the tool, the product, developer and end user. This means to select the most suitable multimedia authoring tools, a developer have to consider these four perspectives. From the tools perspective, a developer have to look at what are the tools has to offer? The tools have to provide all the features that is needed by a developer to produce a multimedia project. The product perspective is the result of the combination of all of the multimedia components. The developer perspective is the perspective of the designers, the programmers, and also the multimedia authors. And lastly, the user's perspective is the customer or the viewer of the multimedia project perspective. All of these perspectives must be considered in choosing the best and the most suitable multimedia authoring tools so that the developer can produce the best and the most suitable multimedia project for the end users. In multimedia authoring systems, the multimedia elements and event are mostly known as an object. The object is all of the elements that are included in a multimedia project. For example, if there are two images and two audios that are used in developing a multimedia project, meaning that there are four objects of multimedia all together in that particular project. The object exists in a hierarchical order of parent and child relationships. Meaning that a main object that is known as a parent may produce another object as a child. For example, if you want to animate a flying bird, you need a bird as a parent object. And the child objects are the wings, the legs of the bird, and maybe the beak and the eyes of the bird. A group of child objects are combined together to produce a parent object. And each of the parent and child object has a properties and modifiers of their own. The properties are the features of each of the object. For example, the wings of the bird may have several colors such as blue and white, meaning that the blue and white is the properties of the wings. And the modifier for the wings 
may be the colors and the texture of the wing. There are three types of authoring tools. There are card and page based tools, the icon based and event driven tools, and lastly the time based tools. The card and page based tools can be illustrated as a stacks of card. Each of the page or the card may contain the media object such as button, text field, and also the graphic object. This kind of tool provides the facility for linking the object to pages or card or from one page to another page. The example of the software that use the concept of card and page based tool are the HyperCard, Toolbook, HyperNext Studio, HyperStudio, Python Card and Revolution. Icon based event driven tools provide a visual programming approach to organize and present the multimedia. Visual programming means the tools are using the visual object to illustrate the programming. In this kind of tool, the multimedia element and interaction cues are organized as object in a flowchart. The flowchart can be built by dragging the appropriate icon from a library in the tools and then followed by the adding the content. By using icon-based event-driven tools, you can easily see the structure of your multimedia project where each icon or the object in the flowchart represent a particular event in the project. The example of icon-based event-driven tools are the Adobe AutoWare and also the Icon Author. The time-based tool are the best suited for a multimedia project that intended to deliver messages with a beginning and an end. It's just like you want to deliver a message through a video where a video have the beginning and the end. Most of the time-based tool are facilitated with the navigation and interactivity control. This is where the developer are given the chance to provide the navigational control to the user. This type of authoring tool also allow the developer to import the multimedia element or the data element to be used in producing the multimedia project. The example of time-based tools application are Adobe Director and also the Adobe Flash. There are five features of authoring tools. Number one, editing and organizing features. Number two, programming features. Number three, interactivity features. Number four, performance tuning and playback features. And number five, delivery, cross-platform and internet playability features. For features number one, which is editing and organizing features, the authoring system always include editing tools to create, edit, and convert the multimedia elements such as animation and video clips. Meaning that the authoring system normally allow the developer to edit and create the elements of the multimedia. For example, Adobe Animate allow the developer to draw and edit the images in the software. It also allow the developer to convert videos into animation in the software. And for the organizing features, the authoring system normally provide the visual flow charting features to facilitate the structure of the project. The authoring system also provide the programming features so that the developer can provide a more sophisticated multimedia project. 
but normally the programming tools that are used in the multimedia project are only the simple programming such as the visual programming which use icons or object as the programming object. This means the authoring tools offers a only very high level language or the interpreted scripting environment for the programming part. And the very high level language is the easiest level of the programming language. Interactivity is the situation where the multimedia product give the end user to control over the content and the flow of the multimedia content. Interactivity features are needed so that the user has the ability to go to another section of the multimedia production from one page to another. Performance tuning and playback features are the features that allow the developer to build a part of a project and test the part of the project immediately. This is very important so that the synchronization and the smoothness of the multimedia content can be achieved. And lastly, delivery cross-platform and internet playability features. Delivering the project may require building a runtime version of the project. It is done by using the multimedia authoring software where it can create the runtime or the executable version of a project allow a project to be played back without the complete authoring software and all its tool and editors. It is also important to use the tools that facilitate easy transfer across the platform. The authoring system also have to provide the features of converting the output to be delivered over the internet. In dealing the cross-platform production of multimedia, there are several aspects needs to be considered. For example, Macintosh and Windows computer use the different schemes of text and colors. So, the developer need to consider or needs to ensure that the text that are chosen can be displayed correctly on both platforms. And it is also same goes to the image, audio and video file format. The developer needs to ensure that all of the formats are suited in both platforms. And that is all for this chapter. And please refer to the notes and the textbooks given for further reading and explanation. Till then, see you in the next video. Thank you.